Our next guests did a lot of unspeakable things as operatives on the hit TV show Scandal. They're back now dissecting all the dastardly deeds in the juicy, juicy and hot new podcast, Unpacking the Toolbox, a Scandal Rewatch. Please welcome to the South by Southwest studio, Katie Lowe's and Guillermo Diaz. Yeah. Yay. Hola. Hello. Hello. All right. So there was a conversation we were happening uh, that was happening right before we went live, and of course, I think the, the world needs to know. Uh, Katie, will you be getting a piercing? Yeah. Yeah. Here. You will. It's going to happen. South by Southwest. Because you all were discussing it. And yeah. Then... So Guillermo and I talk a lot on the podcast about his amazing array of tattoos and piercings. He has this one, and I've always wanted that one. It's perfect for actors yeah. because look, when you're shooting, what oh, yeah, do you look. do? Pick your Whoa, nose and I had hide no it. idea. It's gone. Oh. Right. So I've I don't even have to take it out. Yeah. Yeah. So, wow. Right? So, at South by Southwest, we're going to get pretty crazy because I heard this festival can get pretty crazy <laughs> at night. And we're going to go have some barbecue. Then we're going to go to bars. Get then to I'm going to gonna get my nose pierced. And you get the nose pierced. First ever nose piercing. Yeah. I only have one in one. I'm like pretty boring. I don't even have a tattoo. So maybe we should add a tattoo <laughs> to the list. If you want to get a tattoo, this is a place to get tattoos. Really? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just saying. Do you have tattoos? No, no man. I'm, 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 not, I'm not cool like you. <laughs> should we get a Scandal Rewatch <laughs> podcast tattoo? God. Okay, what if we both like a got little... toolboxes? Ooh, toolbox. That's kind of cool. Oh, shit. You can say it. You already you said say it. toolbox? Yeah, you can say, you can yeah. say toolbox. <laughs> okay. You could say four-letter four letter toolbox right here. It's just a safe great, space. Great, great. It's a safe space. Great. Uh, it's obvious you both hate each other uh, and have no hate. chemistry. None. Uh, how did you tolerate <laughs> each other's annoyances on the set? We just walked away and went to our trailers. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, we, we were pretty good If anything, good about we, that. we just wanted to be around each other more than anything. So I think we just kept gravitating towards each other, you know, and going to the craft service table to find what new food came out and <laughs> telling stories. Like, yeah. I also think there's something to like when you've worked with someone for seven, eight years, 80 hours a week, and you're with them at four o'clock in the morning on Mondays in a trailer, a makeup trailer, and or you're together at 2 a.m. on a Friday night. You're you're so close that you can also just be next to each other and not talk at exactly. all. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like we're all so married. So yeah. I just could tell, like, oh, like, gee, like, we're just doing this. You know, like, we're next to each other on our phones like a married couple. <laughs> no, what was interesting is, is Scandal, uh, the classic show, the greatest show of all time. Ever! 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 <laughs> uh, ensemble. Yeah, yes. a lot of folks there. And uh, the way you tell your story, it's almost like it's school, it's the first day of school, and sometimes you just gravitate towards someone. Yeah. Totally. You're like, we'll be friends. Yeah. Was it like that from day one? We just knew instinctually. With us, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it really was. And we got to rehearse the pilot for two weeks before shooting, which is really unheard of for television and for movies. You don't rehearse. You you do like a camera rehearsal before you shoot and that's about it. But that's like theater almost. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So we got, to, we, we had the opportunity to sort of bond and be around each other and have lunch and, you know, chat while there was other scenes that they were working on. So, and, and yeah, me and Katie totally, you know, connected. Fell in love. To the yeah. point now where yeah. fast forward, Getting nose rings and tattoos yeah. and Barbie together in South by. And yeah. now we're just hanging out in each other's respective homes on Riverside, which is the technology <laughs> we use for the Scandal Rewatch right. podcast. Yeah. And we get to hang out again all the time. Thank you, Lord, because the show wrapped. And I was like, how am I going to make sure Guillermo Diaz stays mm. in my day-to-day -day life every day? Because I love him. But I also think in the pilot, we shot that scene in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Where Quinn's crying and Huck says, like, you know, we don't cry here. You know, and it took like six hours. And I remember I was so, I cried so much. I ordered a whole pizza when I got home and just <laughs> folded it in half and ate mm. it by myself. As one does, there's no yeah, shame. There's no. That, this is the only way to eat a pizza. We love pizza. food. We pizza. love food. We're so excited to be in Austin. We're just like yeah. planning where we're eating after this. Yeah. This, You know what? You're doing it right. You Thank have you. to plan, if I may, kind of come here a lot. You have a few hours. You don't have much time. Unfortunately, you only have one belly. But there's no excuse. Oh, we you got that. Speak for yourself. Yeah, we you got, got that. We got so belly. many just bellies. Amateur. <laughs> just prep. Just prep. Prep the meals. There can be multiple meals in one day, and you can go home. You're like, amateur. Amateur. You peasants with one bellies these days. We got Us a lot of time. We know we have an 8.30 dinner reservation, so we can have, like, a lunch and then a late lunch again. There you go. There oh, you go. And then a saying. dinner, and then, like, a late night. Thing. You are doing yeah. it right, and it, it gives me pride in my heart. You just have to fit heart. the piercing, like, Quick. Somewhere in there. Quick right in between the eating. <laughs> the taco piercing barbecue. Yeah. Uh, but the podcast has come about, and, and the podcast, Guillermo, in one episode, you said the goal is, quote, talk shit 
and reminisce about one of the best shows on television. Well, yeah, kind wow, of. Yeah, that's yeah, a yeah, great yeah. log line. I don't even remember saying that. Me that's either. great. Uh, so yeah, let's, let, let's do the first part. For, let's talk shit. No one's watching. Let's okay. do it. The most obnoxious cast member. Josh, Josh Molina. Oh, that came out quick. Yeah, yeah we told him that too. He's been a guest he on the. We, yeah. He's been the guest on the podcast, and we were like, "How does it feel to be the most controversial <laughs> person on Scandal?" See, the whole Scandal cast, and him too. You have to have one curmudgeonly older brother who gives you wedgies and noogies and all that. That's Josh. The rest of us are really obsessed with each other and hug a lot and, you know, stay in touch and hold hands. And he's just like, oh, my God, this is just too much of a love fest. So he le needs to be a little mean. But deep down, he really loves us, too. I've been on his podcast, the, the Chutzpah pod oh, podcast, yeah, nice. and we follow each other. Nice. And he also did a West Wing reboot. Yes, yes, he did. And it's interesting. So what your older cantankerous brother, yes. whom you still grudgingly love, yes. uh, the obnoxious but lovable Josh Molina, yes. did you all see that? You're like, oh, there's an appetite. There is a viewership for shows that have had such a strong pop cultural impact and the actor can revisit it, and people aren't laughing at the actor. Like, they're coming along with the journey. Yeah. You see that, and you're like, oh, we could do that for Scandal. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he was sort of the first one, but there's a ton that I've been listening to. There's The Office Ladies, which um, is Angela Kinsey. Huge and hit. Jenna Fisher, huge hit. Scrubs. There's The Scrubs one, which is Zach Braff and Donald Faison. There's um, Hannah Simone, Zoe Deschanel, Lamorne, do New Girl. So I was like, hey. <laughs> Hey, if wait they a can minute. Do it. Hey, wait a <laughs> Our minute. Our show's better than all those shows. Yeah, combined. You should, you should say it with a cigarette hanging from your... Hey! Hey, our show is better than all... Who but, do you think? But, but I think there's a, also there's a recipe or so we've heard from the powers that be. It's like you have to have a lot of episodes. Okay. Check. Um, you have to have a great fan following. Double check. check. And then you have to have people that actually have wonderful chemistry. It's like, bing, 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 bing. So it was kind yeah. of done. And, and you know, I'm old enough to remember that I saw Scandal when it was actually on. Oh, great. Right? And it was interesting is that when, when the, an episode used to drop back in the day, uh, each episode used to trend. Oh, like, yeah. Like you had the, cr yeah. and it was for, at that time, it used to be like a new deal. People were like, how does, how, how is each show trending? Is because you all developed uh, this this view uh, this loyal viewership, but y'all in the cast were one of the first ones to embrace this thing called the Twitters, the yeah. live and the Instagram. Yeah. So talk me about that. And I heard that Carrie was very Carrie Washington, first name basis now because she was you a guest. And Carrie. <laughs> oh, nice. K. I call it K. Yeah, she was here a couple of days I call ago. Call it K Dubs. But the, we heard that K Dubs was like, "Yo, you all need to be on Twitter." And you all need to tweet out, and this is how we get a fellow. Uh, but she loyal. didn't tell us. She was smart enough to tell Shonda. She was like, Shonda, you got to talk to the cast and get them all to join Harry's Twitter. So smart. Yeah. And, and she she's did. So sweet too. And that's I think we think that that's why the show became what it became. You know what I mean? And also gave us it, a second season. Like yeah, the first it, season, it was a little. We were little on bit. the yeah. bubble, is what they yeah. called us. Oh, like, I had no we idea. We weren't yeah. a shoe in for the second season. We were not a hit right out of the gate, which I think in the end was really a gift because we got good at the show before we had a lot of eyeballs on us. But yeah, Carrie knew not to be the number one to sort of tell us to join Twitter. She went to Shonda, mm -hmm. knowing that she's all of our bosses. And Shonda was the one that was like, you should all join Twitter. And we were like, okay, we'll do whatever. It, I think yeah. if Shonda says join Twitter, you're like, yes. Oh uh, yeah, we did whatever she <laughs> said. But then there we were like on Twitter live tweeting and then people like, Paula Abdul and like Bette Midler and wow. Rihanna. Pink, like it was like ridiculous. We're tweeting at us being like, I love the show. And Guillermo, you're the best. You're the best actor and the most good looking. Ever. Like to super, ever super grace good our looking. Television. Will you, oh you should be the star I'm of the show. Yeah. Why are you so good looking? Was, Why are you oh, so much better than Carrie? Very yeah. overwhelming. I mean, how but, do you even walk around this planet? I don't know, Katie. I don't know. But it was one of those situations. I mean, the humility is like we have to lift him up from the ground. Quiet. <laughs> Guys. Quiet. Quiet. Uh, it. Quiet. It's really been so fun. We're having a great time. And the show holds up. I mean, I yeah. love that you watched it while it was on the air. But, you know, actors, we don't. I would never take the time to go back and watch something I had done again like this, like sort of under a microscope. And while we were shooting it, we really didn't watch it because we were live tweeting or 
we were waking up the next morning having to shoot and At freaking out about memorizing the lines. Yeah. So to have this gift of this podcast where we're going back and it's just been the perfect amount of time where we don't remember shit. Like Quinn comes on a scene and I'm like, wait, what? What's like, going to happen? Yeah. We have no idea. And because the half of the show takes place in the White House, which Huck and Quinn weren't really involved in, I feel like we're really sitting back and I get it now. I get why people were obsessed with Olivia Pope, why people mm. were obsessed with Olitz, like, mm. the, you know, Olivia and Fitz being together and how steamy and their chemistry. That, and that was, yeah, the Twitters. It was hot. The Our Twitters, Twitters were. Our risque, man. We were a 10 o'clock show, so Shonda went for it. You know, it's, you know it's, it's, it. it's so interesting that when you're in something and when you're in the zeitgeist and yeah. when that's part of the zeitgeist, yeah. you, you get tunnel vision. Totally. You're just, you're, you're just trying to stay yep. ahead. You're exhausted. Yeah. You're current. You're getting tweeted at by Rihanna. Yes. And there's something about time that allows mm -hmm. you to look back and appreciate the things you miss. Like, what did you oh, appreciate absolutely. now with time? They're like, oh, I had no idea that this was happening. Watching, just I think just the show, watching these episodes without any sort of, you know, and, it, and at the time too, we, we, you were so close. I was so critical of whatever I was doing on the screen because I had just shot it two weeks ago, but now so much time has passed. That, um, and it's running in your head. Where, yeah, where did yeah, I go oh, wrong? I should have done that or look, oh, I, I look stupid here. And now you're but just now, like, I'm amazing. Now I was I'm like, awesome. I look so good and I'm so good. <laughs> and what was the problem? Like, why were we freaking out? I know. That's and now so we're us. like, this show is amazing. Plus, we get to see the scenes that we weren't a part of yeah. and see how wonderful that, oh, those storylines were, you know, that we weren't really paying attention to that much because we just wanted to sort of watch ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> I also think it was just such a great, like it really holds up. I mean, you can stream yeah. it now on Hulu and you can watch it with our podcast. Both go perfectly hand to hand or they could just be separate, whatever you guys want to do. But the show holds up. I mean, I keep saying on the podcast that I, I'm trying to be humble, but I'm watching all the shows that are currently nominated and winning Emmys here and Emmys there and all this stuff, and Scandal is still just like, as good yeah. if not better. We did I it better. Swear. We did it better. And also I get why the women, like, I, why Olivia Pope was such and is and continues to be such an incredibly important character that existed in television history. First, I, mean, she, I think it was black first woman. African, yeah, first black leading lady of a network drama in 37 yep. years yep. since it's Julia, true. which only yeah. had one season. And I think I think the the younger the young heads kind of forget that. I mean, yeah, they take it for granted. Yeah, I mean, that was not on everywhere. television. Yeah. That yeah. was not on television. And honestly, Carrie talks about this on our on the podcast, but she was like the amount of pressure for it to succeed. Mm. So that on it became the norm. Yeah. But so yeah. you felt it, right? And so taking it back at that time, you know, she had the pressure. Yeah. But now you're part of her ensemble. Yeah. Did you both feel that pressure as well? Like, yo, we got to bring our A game. It's not just about us. But um, not for that. What? No, I was gonna say not. Not. I don't. I don't think so. The great thing about Carrie is she plays everything so cool. She's so chill. Yeah. She's so relaxed. So we never felt all those sort of that that emotion that was probably going on inside of her with about that pressure. So it didn't sort of leak out onto us. I think for me, I was just so focused about, but you know, learning the lines for that script that we were shooting tomorrow, and it was just a day by day thing that I didn't have time to sort of think ahead Zoom and be out. like think about pressure and be like, oh, I, this has got to be really good. So. You know what I mean? I just, just sort of was focused on in the moment because we were just so busy. So busy. Yeah. And the show was, we just did a panel here and a lovely person in the audience got up and was just saying how not only was it appointment viewing and Twitter was going off and, you know, it was a water cooler show that people talked about on Friday mornings, but we did the lawn chair episode with Courtney mm. B. Vance dealing with police brutality. We did rape in the military. We d did abortion. We did like so many huge hot button topics which you were able to get away with that at were the time. snuck yeah. in yeah. to like the plots and the cases of the week and all of this stuff and it was Shonda like making her mark and making mm -hmm. change mm -hmm. how she knows how to make change it was like but at the time I didn't feel right. that pressure I just was like oh my gosh this is a great script I better get my lines right yeah. you know, in, in yeah. hindsight when you look at your depiction of your characters right and of course you always get hindsight you always you sit there and go not with cringe but like oh now that I know I could have done this, mm. or maybe my art could have gone this mm. way. Yeah, a little bit, but also it's again rewatching it. It's just so good that I, I didn't have much of that in, during the rewatch. I think you know ten I mean? years. It's been ten years, yeah. and it's really the perfect amount of time. It's a high school anniversary, which is not yeah. too awkward. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. just a good time. It's There's like a. Change. I think too soon, like too soon would have been five years would have been bad. Yeah, and then twenty years is just like too long. Oh, yeah, that's too. I think yeah. we've really hit a nice spot where we're. 
not trying to change anything, but we're very like aware of why the show was what it was. You know, you mentioned, it, and, and I'm forgetting because yeah, it was really the talk of the town. Rihanna was talking about it and tweeting oh, yeah. about it. When it, I think people sometimes forget, they think, oh, actors on TV, uh, everyone's a celebrity, but people forget you're human. Yeah, you have your fans, oh your God. icons, yeah. right? Did someone that you just really look up to? Like when they reached, who reached out to you that just made your like jaw just drop? Like I can't believe this person. For me, it was Pink and Bette Midler uh, reached out, and then Rihanna took photos at. Wasn't she like at the actual White House and took photos and like yeah. hashtag like scandal? scandal yeah. Oh look, I'm Olivia Pope. Yeah, and she was actually at exactly the White right. House. That's exactly yeah. right. That is and what happened. You're I'm like yeah. you're Rihanna. You're Rihanna. Huge deal. How about you? I felt the most completely freaked out because we were a political show. Hillary Clinton came to set to wow. visit and watch, which was insane. Future presidential candidate at that time. Yeah. Yes, insane. And then uh, we went to the White House for the White House Correspondent Dinner multiple times. But one of the years we got to meet Michelle and Barack Obama. And Michelle was like, oh, I'm so happy to meet you. I've spent all day today wow. watching Scandal. It's my yeah. like, release and my yeah. downtime and like how I get away. Wow. Yeah, and then I cried. Yeah. It's like, yeah, so you're trying to save the world. In order to exhale and relax, I watch your show. Yes. But no pressure. Yeah, I know. So those were the things <laughs> for me where I was like, oh, to be in a polit I'd never been on a political show before and what that Same, means. Yeah. And at the time, it was just, you know, D.C. was such a different place. And we used to get dropped into D.C. for these events. And it would be like being part of the Beatles or something. It was yeah. insane. Did, did I heard the Obamas gave you like recommendations and advice for of where the show? Do you, oh, yes. Well, Shonda, who's very close with the Obamas, I think they're like real life friends. Um, Not but, just fake life. No, like real life are. friends. They, I, I'm pretty sure the story goes something like Shonda went and was invited into like the private residence in the White House. And they were like, see, you're not getting it right. Like your art department didn't oh, get yeah. the closet she correct notes about or the bedroom or whatever gave her notes. Yeah. And Shonda came back down to the art department on scan. I was like, the set's not exactly right. And like changed <laughs> and it all. That's imagine? not how Shonda talks. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> That's exactly. Like, That's it, that right. and, and the next month, Michelle Obama's just leaning in watching yeah. the episode. Like, that is how the bathroom <laughs> better is. Fix that is better the shower. The yeah, That's exactly. Right. Uh, do you all feel with the podcast, with this new generation watching, that there can be a reboot or a sequel? I mean, I would love a scandal movie. Like a big scandal like movie. Like a Netflix I, movie? Uh, Netflix, man. I want to be in the theater. All right, all right. Theater, all right. But then go to Netflix. But I don't think... <laughs> I don't think but I don't think it. Shonda's going to do that. I, I mean, I would do it in a second, but but that's also the beauty we've talked about. That's why it, it, it was such a special experience because it's it was you know it had a beginning, a middle, and an end, and Shonda always intended it to be that way. And, and, yeah, it, and that's it the best just part. It just left at, it left at the perfect moment. It didn't overstay its yeah, welcome. Yeah, sometimes sh people want to do reboots of shows, and I get excited, but then I'm like, oh, really? Like, why are you bringing it back? It was so good. But you love Sex and the City. I do. I'm, yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, and just like that. But maybe it a, works better the, with comedies yeah. a little bit more, maybe. I think. Yeah. She, I don't think it's ever going to happen. I do think all of us would do it again. Mm. Um, just because I, I, like, there's something about being in a makeup trailer at 5 o'clock in the morning with Kerry Washington and Guillermo Diaz and Darby Sanchez, and it's just like you don't want to be any other place on the planet. And it's you, the you most get paid, fun. too. And you get paid. Yeah. That's girl. nice, girl. Yeah. That's nice. You said a mouthful. <laughs> um, <laughs> But I do think there's something where, like, we feel really lucky that we, like, tied it with a bow, put our heads on the pillow. We all still love each other. We all loved our characters. And it's like, that's a wrap. Like, how lucky are yeah. we that we ended so high? And speaking about Mouthful, uh, as we head out, uh, you're in Texas. You're in Austin. That's the breakfast. This is Texans right here. We have a Texan crew. Y'all. Where should they first so go eat for We're barbecue? We're so hungry. Where should they go but for wait, barbecue? But wait, here's the problem. It's a Monday, and there's so Franklin's, many places right? closed. Franklin's? No, no, no. These, these guys are authentic. Where should they go? La barbecue. La barbecue. La barbecue. Is that open on a Monday? Yep, it's open. La barbecue it is. How got, long is the line? Hey, you guys are scandal stars. We're all just movie going. stars. What's Let wrong? Get out in. We Get want out barbecue. Of the way. What about Bedla, Perla? Perla? Don't they have to make the best po' boy sandwiches or something? Somebody told me that. Perla? <laughs> She's laughing. She's like, Dar oh, no. it's Yo, I'm You're starving. You will get the download right after of where to eat. <laughs> yes. You can hear more behind-the-scenes stories by tuning in 
to the podcast. The podcast again is Unpacking, Unpacking the, the Toolbox. Toolbox. And it drops every week. Every Thursday. Thursday. And you are watching South by Southwest Studios. I'm your host, Wajahat Khalid.